This is Brody Dorland from Divi HQ, and today I'd like to walk you through Divi HQ's new sandbox interface, which is where most of the production and collaboration happens on an individual piece of content. We've packed a lot of functionality into this new design, so I'll start at the top and then work our way down into some of the specific features that are most widely used. Let's start in this dark header area where we can see the content item's title, several action buttons, avatars for assigned team members, and a status bar that allows you to not only see the current status of the content item, but also quickly update the status just by clicking one of these nodes. The header also includes a set of tabs that allows you to navigate to other functional areas of the sandbox. Now when you first open the sandbox, you'll land on the details tab. This view displays most of the important fields you'll need, including the primary details, key dates, production tasks, and content strategy metadata. To edit any of these details, click the Edit Details button here up on the right. Make your changes and then click Save. Quick note, if someone else on your team is currently editing these details, this Edit Details button will be disabled and grayed out. When you're ready to start drafting content directly in Divi HQ, the Content tab is where you need to head. The Content tab technically has two states, a read state and a write state. The read state is displayed when you first land on the Content tab and can be used to quickly review content or data that has been stored within the full content field. To write content, click the Open an Editor button and the view will switch to a nice, clean writing canvas with familiar HTML formatting tools. While you write, you can leave comments or reference attachments in the right side panel. When you're done editing, hit save and you can close this view by clicking the back arrow in the top left. Once again, if someone on your team is currently editing this content, the Open in Editor button is disabled and you'll see a little message in this area regarding who is currently editing the content. Okay, next in line is the Attachments tab, which is used to store visual assets, content drafts, and other reference materials. To attach a file, you can either drag and drop within this dotted drop zone, you can click Choose a File to trigger your file browser, or click Attach from Cloud to attach shared files from cloud storage providers like Dropbox, Box, or Google Drive. When it comes time to promote your content on social, Divi Pro and Enterprise customers can leverage our all new promotion tab that includes several new features that users have requested over the years. From this tab, you can create and schedule new social posts, view posts that are queued to post in the future, and view the history of social posts that you've published in the past. Okay, I know we've covered a lot so far, but I just have three more areas to point out. The Activity tab provides you with a running list of all the activity that has happened on your content item. This list will include things like status changes, deadline changes, team member assignments, task completion, and file uploads. The last tab houses the Series settings, which function much like setting up a recurring meeting in Outlook or Google Calendar. If you have a weekly blog series or you participate in Throwback Thursdays, just for example, our series tab will help you get any recurring content series set up quickly. Last but certainly not least, you'll always have a comments panel docked on the right. Team collaboration is one of the most important aspects of Divi HQ, so no matter what you're doing or where you are in the Divi sandbox, comments will always be visible and referenceable in the right column. That's it folks. Thanks for taking a few minutes to check out the new Divi Sandbox. We hope you like the changes we've made, but we're always open to feedback. Feel free to click the feedback button in the lower left. Also note the question mark icons in the top left, which links to the full knowledge base article on the new Sandbox interface. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't. For more videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and happy divvying!